Hey, what's up? This is Scott. A uh, quick video on how to find a moment generating function for the gamma distribution. So, um, here's our gamma distribution. We want to find the moment generating function of it. So, what we want to do is we want to find the expected value of e to the tx. So, to find that, we take our. our we're going to take our uh, integrand. And we're going to take our e to the tx. And then we're going to multiply it by our f of x. And this right here, this is our f of x. So times it by, and I'm going to pull this one over here so we can combine the terms real quick. So we're going to have e to the negative lambda x. Uh, we've got alpha, I mean, sorry, lambda to the alpha rho of alpha x to the alpha minus 1 dx. Now I put these two together because we're going to combine these terms. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to pull out a negative, uh, a negative x. So we can uh, sum, sum this one down, 0. We have e to the negative x. And we're going to have lambda minus t. Lambda to the alpha over rho to the uh, gamma to the alpha, x to the alpha minus 1, the x. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to use kernel matching. So, we're going to do we see something that kind of looks like the shell of this or the kernel, right? Like this is the kernel of this. So, over here we have, we could rewrite this as e to the negative x times alpha, right? Uh, I mean, lambda, right? That's important because look, we've got a we've got an e to the negative x times some quantity, right? Right here, we've got an e to the negative x times some quantity. Now, if you look here, that quantity is also here. So, what we got to do is try to find some way to get a uh, uh, a lambda uh, lambda minus t into here. And we can use a little trick. And what we're going to do is we're going to multiply. And I'm just going to uh, remember this is all going to equal one, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides, and we want it to, to an alpha, right? So I'm going to multiply both sides by lambda minus t, uh, the alpha, over lambda minus t to the alpha, right? Because this is just one, so all we're doing is multiplying this whole thing by one. And then we're just going to fill the whole thing back in, zero, infinity, e to the negative x, Lambda minus t, uh, alpha, uh, lambda to the alpha, good dx. Now, what we want to do, we're going to take this quantity here, we're going to take this, and we're going to move it over to here, and we're going to take this, and we're going to pull this constant out, because we've got to... This is all multiplication going through here. And remember, we can pull constants out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and, and rewrite it over here. We're just gonna say that this is equal to uh, lambda minus t to the alpha, right? Because there's our denominator. We're gonna put this lambda to the alpha out here. And then we're just gonna uh, fill out the rest of this, right? But see now what we have is we got this uh, we got this kernel right because this right here this is just another way of rewriting this but instead of having uh, lambda as our term we have uh, lambda minus t right uh, sorry we have lambda minus t so right here instead of negative x times lambda we have negative x times lambda minus t now this lambda is also over here this lambda minus t is also here. So what we have is we have a sum over its support, right? And we know that when we sum something over its support, it's just equal to 1. So we can rewrite this 
as, and I, since this is, uh, well, let's just write it down here. And then all this just equals to one. And we could rewrite this as lambda over lambda minus t, all of the alpha. And there's your uh, moment generating function. And there's your moment generating function for uh, the gamma distribution. So remember, what we're going to do is we're going to take our, our distribution, we're going to times it by, we're going to find the expected value of e to the tx which means we're going to take e to the tx times it by our, our, our uh, gamma function, and we're going to uh, combine like terms. We're going to find some way to manipulate things so that way we have uh, a kernel that matches something towards this, right? That may mean some, some trick multiplication, right? Because all this is just another way of writing 1, right? Because any value over itself, right? This is, this is just the same as writing 2 over 2, which is just equal to 1, right? That's what we have here. Um, move everything over. We recognize that now we have just the sum of an integral over its support, which is just one. We had this out here, and we can shove all of that inside of a. Uh, we can take this to the alpha, right? Because uh, three to the second over four to the second is the same as three fourths squared, right? So that's all we did here, and then we end up with the moment generating function of the gamma distribution. Hope that makes sense. If you've got any questions, shoot me a message. Uh, I'd be more than happy to try to work something out and, and answer some questions for you. Thank you.